My dad got in contact. He wants to meet. I can't even really remember what he looks like. I've got to say, I'm not happy. He is dwelling on his problems and making you dwell on them too. And yours. Look, he needs to be thinking about you and what you need. He's my dad. Your biological dad. Yes, and sorry, but you're not. So you can't stop me from talking to him. You haven't got control of your staff. No. Do you know why? It's a systemic problem called the I want to be boss syndrome, also known as the Wendy Cooper syndrome. Well, Wendy is the clinical coach, and she had a right to reprimand Lucy, but, yeah, I should have supervised Lucy myself, but she was in a half, so I delegated. Lucy was in a half? I asserted my authority with another nurse in a guns-blazing sort of way, and Lucy was there. She wasn't impressed. The guns-blazing approach. Usually works if you've got your facts lined up. Yeah, but I didn't do that. Lesson learned? Mm-hmm. Can't use that method every day. Loses its value. You've got to be strong but fair all the time. And as for huffs... Zero tolerance. Well, I thought we decided you'd stay out of it, that we'd listen to what Kane wants and support him. And I did, until something needed to be said. Well, there's a fine line between caring and controlling, and you crossed it. <laughs> You didn't see what Kane's father was on about. His own depression, dark times. There was nothing positive or encouraging to lift Kane up. It was all bleak. It doesn't sound good. See, I had to shut it down right there and then. Yours sincerely, Murray Cooper. So where's Kane now? He took off. Why didn't you tell me? Have you tried calling Jack? He hasn't seen him. I've been to Sugar, the mall. OK, well, he's just been hanging out with all the first 15 boys, so why don't you give the coach a call and ask him to send through the contact list for all the players? I knew you'd have a good idea. There's no need to panic, but we do need to do this. We'll split the list and call every parent. Right, I need to go and get someone to cover my shift. Don't worry. He'll be fine. Oh, it's only me. You are naughty. Oh. Let me in the door before you tell me off. You just must let us know what time you're frightened. Vinny doesn't have time to do airport runs. And my beautiful grandson doesn't have his license yet, does he? But he can hold his head steady now. No more wobblies. Oh, I've missed so much. Well, it's okay. Eric needed your help. <sighs> he sorted himself out pretty quickly. Yeah, so he's back on track. Mm hmm He is. <laughs> More thanks to his new girlfriend, I imagine. What's her name? Emmeline, a fitness instructor. You can't walk into the laundry without tripping over the lycra. I hope you didn't do all the cooking and the cleaning. I had to keep busy. Once Eric came right, he realised how much he'd missed his girlfriend. In a physical way. Oh, so they spent a lot of time in the bedroom, did they? The bathroom, the lounge. They did not. They may as well have. Oh. <laughs> it's not funny. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, I suppose it was nice getting to know her, but I tell you, I saw more of Emmeline than I wanted to. <laughs> Mum, they're young and in love. You've just forgotten what it's like. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm old and doddery. No. Well, it's good to be home. Like with normal people, not show-offs. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? You don't show off, do you? <laughs> Number one. Wendy is your clinical coach. You should have listened to her. Even though she was wrong in this instance, and I really am sorry. Okay, I'm handling this. Yes, she was wrong. But that doesn't mean you have to have a tantrum to get your point across. You listen. You figure out where Wendy is coming from, and then you explain your side. Sure, if that's what you want. And that's enough of that attitude. What attitude? This thing between me and Kylie, it's none of your business. Okay? So get over it. Now, is there anything else I need to know here? Any questions? No. I'll get back to work then, please. Thank you for sticking up for me. No, I wasn't. I just didn't want to reprimand you in front of a junior nurse. Well, that's good of you. Well, you should have given her a chance to explain herself. Yeah, and I see that now. But can you please give me a rack up tomorrow? Because I really need to bail. Well, no, 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 no. You said you'll work tonight. But something's up with Kay and he's gone AWOL. You can't muck me around like this. You said yes, you have to follow through. And I've checked with all the other nurses and everything's really quiet now, so I think the team can cope without me. And that is a decision I have to make, not you, because you are not in charge anymore. Is that clear? It is now. Okay, good. Now, the best thing you can do is take a break now, go sort out things with Kane, and then be back here ASAP. But I'm not sure if that's going to be our time. That's the best I can do, Wendy. Take it or leave it. Oh, 
Oh. Make it stop. Come on, TK. Oh, party is going to be there. Eh? What, that Ritzy party for the surgical department. We're going to gate crash. Remember your idea before you pick up your men. Yeah, I'm in. No, you're not. You cannot you... tell her what to do. DHB reps will be there. Knocking back the salmon cakes or whatever. Yeah, overpriced catering. The same reps that you're going to be hitting up for money. And there you are, uninvited, guzzling champagne with the rebel. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. You wuss. And you shouldn't be going either. You'll be blacklisted. Hey, we can't even buy a sandwich for our student registrars. But here's the surgical student who gets a full-blown party where the champagne flows freely. Boyd is just trying to treat his manuhiri with respect. Well, let's do it properly then. Let's give her a pulfiri. I'll be on poi. Pania, you can take the lead. Tato, tato, everybody go. Oh, yeah, Hidden Harper and support boy. Remember him? Your boyfriend? TK, he is spending a lot of money on impressing one little student. It's just wrong. I know this, but if you make a fuss, you'll look silly. And so will our department. Welcome back, uh -huh. <coughs> Thank you. All good with Eric? Uh, yeah, it's all good. How was the rest of work? Uh, busy. Busy and manageable, or busy and sucked? Sucked. Well, oh, tell me all about it. No, I'd rather focus on something a little bit more positive. If you've had a stressful day, you need to get it off your chest. Positive. I did all my physio tonight. Wow. You deserve a kiss for that. And I did all of the ironing. One more. And I cleaned the bathroom, hmm. did all the washing, it was just generally fabulous. Hmm. People sit on that couch. Sorry, ma'am. Wendy. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't mean to freak you out. I just needed some space. From Murray? Yeah. Look, is it okay if I text him, tell him that you're fine? He's been driving around everywhere looking for you, ringing up every parent in the first 15. Yeah, I know. Did you get a few texts from your mates? Yeah, shame. Well, that's what happens when you run off. The search party kicks into action. I know why you did it, though. Murray did get a little carried away. I just wanted to yell at him. I still do. And you shouldn't have to yell to be heard. Look, how about we both have another go at getting through to him? But it wasn't even bad stuff in the email. Just me catching up with my dad. Sure. But some of the content, it was about mental health issues? Yeah, but so what? My counsellor says I can talk about it all I want. Yeah, absolutely, and there is no harm in talking, that's for sure. But look, this is the reality for Murray. He wants to keep you safe, and he thinks well, from that... from my own father? Well, he doesn't know him well enough yet. None of well, us do. That's why I'm emailing him, trying to get to know him. And now I know he has depression too. I probably got it from him. Genetics. Now, how about you go home, have a good night's sleep, and we'll talk to Mary in the morning. But just tell him he can't stop me from talking to my dad. It's not right. You gave me a fright last time. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Do you think maybe you were a bit hasty with the email business? Maybe. So you're okay with me contacting my dad? Look, Jimmy hasn't been through what we have. Together as a family. And if he's digging around talking about depression... I can talk about the suicide. Depression, anything. It's not going to make me have a meltdown if that's what you guys are worried about. But you ran off. Yeah, and as soon as I calmed down, I went straight to Wendy to talk it through. That's a good stress management plan, right? Excellent point. I thought you were supposed to be neutral. <laughs> you guys have been great. You've done heaps to help me get on with stuff, rugby and everything. But now I just want to get to know my dad, that's all. <laughs> Make contact with Jimmy if you want to. I won't stop you. Thanks. I can't really. But, but you have to keep us in the loop. I still want this transparency thing. With all of us. Yeah, I know. Time out. Game over. Well done, everyone. Uh, breakfast? Yeah, I'm just going to email Dad first. There you go. All sorted. We hope. Come on. Please, please, please. <sighs> 
you run out of petrol? Uh, no, uh, there's a half a tank at least. Something's wrong. It's brand new. Yeah, I know. But it'll be under warranty, so it won't cost you a thing to fix. Yeah, I just don't have time to wait for a tow truck to come. I have so much stuff to do before I get to the airport. Just call them from Australia. Yeah, but I can't just leave it here. <laughs> yes, you can. Leave me the keys for the tow truck. Oh, thank you so much. I owe you one, babe. Yeah. You're welcome, and I'll hold that taxi, please. You're amazing. <laughs> do you want me to take a look? Uh, if you can. Does the car turn over? What? What sound does the car make when you try to start it? Oh, I, I like tick, 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 tick. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> uh, you've probably got a flat battery. Oh, how did I do that? Just take my truck for the day. What, what, wow. You really do know how to live dangerously. <laughs> yeah, take the keys. Bring it back. And I'll definitely get to see you before you go. I will just catch taxis all day. Oh, fine. Uh, I don't really want to see you, though. Not bad. Do you still want this taxi? Um, speak to you later. Do that. Hey, she's back. I know, I'm not supposed to be here for a couple of days, but please don't send me home. <laughs> I need to work. Uh, well, I'm sure we can squeeze you in. What am I doing with these? Kylie's car broke down. Just put them in the locker. Sure. So, who's been flirting with the doctors at my desk? Hey? To the triage desk, Hottie. Oh, it's for me. Or me? Who's it from? It doesn't say. I haven't been flirting with the doctors. Neither have I. It could be from anyone, a grateful patient, maybe. Mm. Oh, it looks lovely. Let's have a rummage. No, you do no such thing. Till the sender comes out of hiding. Oh, spoil sport? Oh, if he's a decent man, he'll just walk up and say hello. This is cowardly. He's got great taste. I think I'm in love already. Oh, you young people, you've got a one-track mind. Now, let's focus on these jobs for Boyd. Big day for him. Mm, it's just so romantic. Just to know someone is thinking about me right now. Or me. <laughs> Bad habit, that. Huh? Texting and walking at the same time. You're being into something. Yeah, I'm just checking my emails. Nothing from Dad yet. Well, you only just email. Give him time. Yeah, maybe he's too scared to write back, because you scared him off. Well, do you want me to send him another email, clarify the situation? Or, or a quick phone call? No, you'll just make it worse, but thanks. Have a good day, hon. Yep. I could have stuffed things up worse if I tried. Oh, you were just looking out for your boy. He's not my boy, though, is he? Hey, there is always going to be a connection with a biological father, but that's all he is. And that will never compare to what you have with Cain. You've shown him nothing but unconditional love, and he knows that. And that kind of thing will stay with him forever. I have a tie dilemma. Help me out. Forget about the tie. Tell me about that suit, Dr. Rollister. I bought it in New York. Did you know? You like? Yes, I do. It makes me go all... Mm. It's a shame you didn't unpack it for me, though. Well, this is work. Even I know that schmoozing requires a decent suit. Yes, you're right. Give my love to the surgical team. Oh, you're still sulking about that. No, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about the ED department. I'm gonna rip up some old sheets later and turn them into bandages for unneeded patients. <laughs> May I remind you, the surgical exchange program has not stolen anything from your budget. Completely separate income streams. Mm-hmm. Come with me. You're not allowed to take plus ones. You said so. I'm in charge. I'm making an exception. Well, ED can't afford opulent parties like you guys. I would look like a traitor. You would look gorgeous in that little dress of yours. Which one? Any of them. Plus, you have to fend off the ladies for me if I look as hot as you say in the suit. Yow. Catering and booze? Check. Designated car parts for VIPs? Check. Name tags? Check. Oh, no, sorry, uncheck that. No? Oh, some of the magnets keep coming unglued at the back. Who's it for? Patient? Doctor? To the triage desk. Oh, oh my goodness, what does it say? Your smile is infectious. See, that's me. Your bubbly personality, that's me. Deserves only the best bubbles. Enjoy, gorgeous. Hey, I have a bubbly personality. You're too young for him. You don't even know who he is. But he wouldn't send you champagne like this. You're underage. It's irresponsible. And this conversation is completely unprofessional. I'm glad someone said it before me. Oh, oh apologies. You'll be looking for this? Thank you. 
It's great to have you back, Leanne. You need a bit of decorum on the front desk. Name tags. Filing. All right, before you guys go, I need the recess jolly check. Sure. And the controlled drugs, they need to be ordered. Sure, I'll do it later in the shift. No, we're short on morphine. I need it done now. OK. All right, and I'll be keeping an eye on breaks today. Five minutes extra here, ten minutes there. You're putting a lot of pressure on your colleagues. I won't have it. Any more questions? No. Go. Hey, mm. I told you appointment. Not for two minutes. I just thought I'd sneak up for a quick hi. Mm. Oh, well, hi, hi. Mm. Lucy, don't forget the trolley. Going now. Nice to see you out about these days. Yeah, thank you. Um, hey, this new version of Vinny, the deficient bossy boots. It's definitely a change. Well, tell me straight, is it working? His managerial style has alienated a few of the staff, demoralised others. Well, there'll be an adjustment period, I suppose. As long as we don't all deal with the adjustment like Kylie did. Hmm? She's gone on strike slash holiday, just up and left. That bad? Mm -hmm. Have you tried to talk to him about it? Oh, no. I've been well and truly put in my place. I'm just a regular nurse now. No opinions allowed. This is my fault. I told him to be firm with the staff. Well, I said the same thing. Somehow it has backfired majorly. <sighs> this is beyond ridiculous. Oh, my goodness, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Read the card. <sighs> to the triage desk, Hottie. Yes. I know the teddy bear is cheesy, but I just wanted to make you smile. Have a good day, Blondie. Blondie? Blondie. Oh. Are you sure it says that? Yes, it says Blondie. Well, that's me, huh? And me. Which leaves. <laughs> Do you think all this stuff's for me? Anyone else on the desk with blonde hair? It's kind of heading towards grey more than blonde. Excuse me, what are you saying? That a man wouldn't be interested in me because I'm old? No, of course not. You're lovely. Close it, Leanne one. Oh. At least you know now you've still got it. Going on. Yeah. Apparently so. Hey, and you went to pick up Caleb? Yeah, see what state he's in. Well, I'd be better once I had some quality time with his wife. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just worried about his injury. Still, the house is yours. Till he's with Rose, I'm going to the gym. Forget the gym. Take Kylie out somewhere. The movies, the beach, her place. She hasn't texted me. Yeah, because she's waiting for you to text her. She said she would text me. OK, look, clearly you've been out of the game for a while, so I'm going to break it down for you. The guy still has to make all the moves. She made a move last night. Then back it up. Give us your phone, I'll do it. Whoa! Pick up your husband. <laughs> I hope the bride is happy with the flower arrangements. Yeah, just what I was thinking. Talk about over the top. Just for a little dream. Yeah, I mean, I know she's American, but that's not enough to make her special or to spend thousands on her. I totally agree. I would have been happy with a sausage roll and club sandwiches. Yeah, same. Here we go. All fixed. Look, we have some super glue at the back. Thanks. Oh, I see you've been Dr. Whitley. Yes, she's kept me entertained. I like this place already. I'm sorry, you are Victoria Anderton. A guest of honor. Victoria, I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. You were supposed to have an American accent. That would have been my cue to be polite. I grew up here, studied in the States. Yeah, Columbia. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. I had some top-of-the-line teachers. And now you get to check out that wonderful stuff. I'm looking forward to working with Boyd. He's quite up, that guy. He will do a great Father of the Bride speech later. Yeah, a bit dry, a bit nerdy. <laughs> what? Um, Boyd's my partner. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Call it even then. Okay, I'm good with that. Yeah, I just tried it. It doesn't even taste like chalk. You need to get some. We'll get a job and buy some yourself. Yeah. My dad's on one.
Sure, hold up. Uh, I'll call you back. Yep. Someone's waiting for Blondie. Are you sure it's him? Yes, go for it. Oh, don't stare. Move those people out the way. They're our patients. Do a walk by and listen in. No way. We have to meet him properly. So, did you get his number? What's his name? Are you going on a date? You girls got it wrong. He was after Kylie. Kylie? But she doesn't work on the desk. Well, she's a triage nurse sometimes. He described her perfectly. Blonde, blue eyes, petite, glowing tan. Yeah, that's her. That makes more sense. That guy was way too young for you. Not really. I'm quite capable of graduating to Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie's car keys now. Come on. Eh? I'm going to put all this stuff in the car. We can forget it ever happened. Hey, babe. Have you only just finished your physio? No. I've been yakking with my case manager from ACC. Oh, yeah? What's up? Oh, he reckons I'm good to go. Go where? Back to work. I just have to write a return to work plan and talk it through with him. No. No, it's too soon. My arm is so much better. Rocky Gore, it's alive. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this job, dear Wen, it's it's rough out there. Don't worry, I'm not going to bump you off just yet. We're going to start with a graduated plan, increase my hours, my responsibilities, little by little. Well, I prefer nothing by nothing. Just one hour a week, two maybe. What's well, hardly worth it? What are you going to do for two hours? Orientate myself again, observe. What about Bubs? The nanny is already booked. She's keen for a regular gig. All right, Nurse Miller. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Just put them up there and I'll sort it. We don't mind it. Oh, hang on. Just go back to the desk. Uh, your place for mine. The guy's going to see some action. Man. That's the best offer I've had all day. <laughs> so sorry, I thought you were Kylie. Oh, don't apologise to me, darling. 